everyone, it's Boardbrain coming back at you with another educational blockchain video. And this one is on anchors falling from the sky. That's right, the anchor protocol airdrop. It's here. Ooh. And uh, yeah, uh, gotta say, I've been pretty excited about this one. So anyway, um, I had to connect another wallet that had an actual airdropped claim. Now I'm gonna go claim it and then do movie magic stuff, kinda like this. And uh, the line's a bit more impressive, to be honest. Sometimes simplicity of just a single cut edit without a transition. Anyway. But yeah, uh, and then I'm going to kind of send them over to the other wallet and a bit, a bit, a bit, whatever, do the thing. But uh, 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 then I'll have a little bit of anchored play around with and then uh, we'll do some stuff. <laughs> All right, so yeah, go to the website, right? Boom. Oh, here it is. Claim the anchor airdrop. Yeah, don't mind if I do. Not enough transaction fees. You got to be joking me. Well, this is just embarrassing. <laughs> well, B, R, B. All right, so here I am, and I'm back. And uh, we got our airdrop. Uh, I've got everything figured out this time. Uh, and we're going to rip through this. So you claim, right? Now, because from this uh, wallet I was staking Luna, uh, delegating validators, I get an airdrop of some anchor tokens. Now there's a transaction fee, 50 cents, you know, UST, USD. So I go to claim, because I got some uh, business in here now, and then, uh, you know, am I going to do it? I'm going to do it, waiting for the receipt. And uh, when this loads through, then I'm going to have this uh, new asset in my wallet. Sick. So, uh, hmm. Like, I don't know. Like, how much should I be splitting this up? I think this is like my, my, my baby, my ba little baby wallet. Um, so if I'm gonna do this, let's, uh, let's do, um, I'm gonna stake it. I'm going to stake it all from this wallet. Shaboom. And here we go. That's one thing I'll say about the Terra Station wallet. I think it's a really good feature that they have this like extra password protection, but like it can get really annoying really quickly. And it'd be cool if the user could turn it off. I'm not sure if I can turn it off or not. But if I can't, I think it would uh, it'd put a bit of a hassle in my castle if you know what I mean um yeah and then uh, from there I'm gonna do a little zoop and uh, uh, hop over to another wallet send some anchor tokens over so I can go do the whole other part with the LP tokens because I want to do that too before I go to sleep because it's like oh my god geez Louise all right um, with that some movie magic and poof, we're uh, back again. Ah, it's pretty cool, pretty cool. Our B asset, like, yeah, I don't know how any of this is gonna work, but like, pretty, it's nice and clean. I like the interface, anyway. Um, I wanted to get into this. It was kind of what I was thinking. Um, that was kind of what I'm thinking. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it. Um... Oh yeah. 
Oh, geez. Maybe I have to trade it first. Yeah, I probably should trade it first, hey? All right, let's go back to govern. Man, some clean website. Quite clean. So, buying anchor. No, I want to sell a little bit of anchor. Just a little bit. Uh, what do I want to sell? 20 anchor. Or, uh, what, 19 anchor. No, 20, 19, <laughs> 21 anchor. Let's do that. All right, proceed. Shaboom. And just like that. Complete. Shaboom, shaboom. All right, so where are we? Govern. All right, let's get some of this juicy APY. What do we want to do? Max? Oh, don't have enough. Okay, max. All right, perfect. Add liquidity. Yeah, a lot of passwords. You know, in this case, it's like it's more secure, but then it's harder to go swap them back and forth between different wallets. But uh, I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know what the good system is. I do like it when... Oh, I apologize for yawning. Jeez. This is ridiculous. I need to go to bed. <laughs> um, so yeah, we've, uh, we've uh, provided our liquidity here. And uh, we can come back to the Govern tab now. It's pretty cool. So we're... Uh, we got our uh, stake in there. We've got our stake in there. And if I UST borrow, so what I really need to do is just borrow a bunch of UST, I guess. That's the good stuff. Hmm. And this is auto compounding, so I'm going to. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I figure I might as well uh, stake it in there. Should I? I almost feel like I should sell more. Maybe I should just like sit on that and I'll just, I'll wake up in the morning and I'll decide what I want to do with it or something. Like, I don't know. Um, Cause I kind of I don't want to sell it, but then if I stake it, I'm just gonna stake it. Let's get those APYs. Cause why not? Like I can just free up some capital somewhere and get some more money to, you know, pour into this ecosystem, buy some more UST or something. Like I mean, I'm not a rich person. This is all like kind of weird internet nerd money to me still in a lot of regards. But uh, it is all real world value. So, uh, um, but this is definitely an ecosystem that I could go heavier in if I if I wanted to. Uh, but the borrow, the borrow, that's it. Yeah, this is what I wanted to do. Okay. Where is this? The safe amount. Unsafe. Sure. Proceed. Cool. So I'm borrowing UST. Yeah, submit. Oh, this is pretty cool. <laughs> LTV. Yeah, I got to figure out a few of these uh, terms of exactly what's uh, going on there. The distribution APY. Um, this has been provided. Um, 
And then what does repay look like? I don't want to repay anything. What do I want to do? I, hmm. How many loops? I, so have I borrowed twice and collateralized different things? I think what I need to do is go over here. I'm going to trade A and C. And I'm going to throw down 52 bucks. Oh, let's just go 50 bucks because I, I want to leave like a little bit of UST in my wallet at all times. But I think like 760. Let's go 52 point. Two five. Oh, for some reason, that just is a beautiful number. It's got a nice shape to it. Anyway, um, yeah, let's do this. I'm gonna proceed. This is crazy. I never took out a crypto loan before. Um, I've done some DeFi kind of stuff, but like. I think I've been doing kind of like kind of basic ass stuff. Um, I think the important thing here is like if you're actually doing this is you probably want to like do be doing more math than I am. But I'm just kind of playing around with the tools and sort of like uh, I'll just, you know, we'll see how it turns out later. But. Uh, OK. So. I just bought more ink. And I guess I'm going to just stake them. I'm just going to stake my ink. <laughs> All right. This is pretty chill. I don't even know what I all just did in terms of, like, I understand that the basics is, what I don't understand is sort of like, my risk and my reward off each thing but i'm like no i think there's like i think it's just that if each position's like over collateralized in certain places you should be able to just do the thing and then hmm there needs to be shared faith in the ecosystem to make it all work but yeah, yeah, that's pretty cool. So let's uh, go back here. What do we got? I deposited 50 UST. So, I mean, I don't know. Between these two videos, I think I've deposited and borrowed and I've st staked. And I think I've done everything there is in here. But let's, uh, is this updating in real time? Whew. So you have a thirteen million dollar deposit in something that, well, it's supposed to launch two hours ago, but really it's been out for like less than an hour. And there's four million dollars borrowed in the protocol already. So this is most of the collateral. That's fifteen million. Oh, there's been fifteen million dollars with the. B Luna minted and 13 million. Oh, wow. That's crazy. So there's been, I mean, really in a TVL, this is, we're quickly approaching uh, $30 million total, total locked value in here. Essentially, that's pretty crazy. So like half of it's going to validators and they're getting the reward. That's a pretty good deal. And then the UST. Interesting. Wait a second. So I got to go check one last thing here. Uh, where was it? In Boro, I think. Oh, no, no. In my wallet. Okay, so because I had the, the UST, but then I had this AUST. So what do I have the AUST for? Hmm. Bond. 
no burn no claim I wonder what I can use AUST for perhaps it's something that's not quite out yet but I would like to do something with it now that I have this new <laughs> it's like a wrapped stable coin or something. Well, uh, they got a forum in here. You can create a poll. Um, so I guess they got this uh, the same kind of governance mechanism as as Mirror, and it's I guess it's probably going to take a, I'd say a couple days for a few proposals to build up in here, and the community to start talking about the tools. This is, you know, Anchor Protocol in its first two hours. Uh, despite the fact that they delayed launching for like a solid hour um, because of uh, some crazy shit. And then they launch and I mean, there was a little glitch at the very beginning where it was like me, like it literally just, this website just went live in the first video. And I had a one or two glitches in a row, but then it, everything went smooth after that. I think they were just, uh, they, they didn't, you know, you can only deploy one, contract at a time or something like I don't know um, it would it would make sense that it'd take a couple minutes to maybe roll it out because there's a lot of stuff in here like there's like a vault a vault a vault a smart you know there's multiple smart contracts that are all interacting with each other and this just launched and it's running smooth as a, a buttery bonnet so uh, yeah I don't know I, I gotta be honest I'm like tired like yeah, I'm just, I'm really tired, and uh, I'm not sure how coherent this video is going to be. I was going to do uh, uh, the editing and stuff before I went to sleep, but I'm just zonked, so I'm going to try to start editing the first one, but a lot of, uh, you know, my brain's not working, and anyway, apologies. <laughs> the video tomorrow will be a little bit more cognizant of uh, the viewer and uh, won't be just uh, me FOMOing on Anchor trying to make a video while I uh, do it all in, in the middle of the friggin' night. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm going to do another follow-up one where I'm going to go into Anchor. I'm going to check out the other stuff. I'm going to find out what the A, uh, the a UST is. I'm going to figure out um, sort of a couple of the other angles in here of how it all works. Maybe I'm going to draw up something on like a whiteboard. I'm going to be like, this is exactly what's going on, to, to my knowledge, you know. But, uh, yeah, you want the good information. You go to the source. You read that. You read, uh, the, you know, Anchor Protocol, Mirror, Mirror Protocol, uh, Terra Luna, Do Kwan. You re read what they're saying. Um, get the guides from them. They're, uh, they're, the, they're the, they made it, <laughs> you know. So, anyway, yeah. Airdrops are pretty cool, man. That's uh, that was not too bad. Um, everything's staked. Uh, I don't know. That was today. Was tonight was a good day. It was a night, whatever. And uh, yeah, you know what? I'm just like babbling. I'm just like so tired. It's ridiculous. So I'm gonna just like sign out now. But yeah, tomorrow. Uh, these two go two videos will come up or some version of them and then I will have uh, some sort of a wrap-up video about anchor protocol um, which uh, yeah stay tuned so yeah that's it uh, Borg brain signing out I'm out peace